Let's play into the kinetics of radioactive decay. And it's first order kinetics, which you have seen before. Now, this is how they write it when you're talking about nuclear uh, reactions. Natural log of N equals the natural log of N0 minus lambda T, but It's the same thing as the natural log of A equals the natural log of A0 minus KT, just like we did back in chapter 14. All right, so N, or A, is the number of atoms at time T. And you can have all kinds of crazy units here. It could be called disintegrations or Curies are just different units used in nuclear chemistry, but as long as both units are the same, it doesn't matter. So don't let that throw you. N0, or A0, is the number of atoms at time 0, which is just the initial reading. And then we have our constant. And half-life is still, so if you want to have K here instead of the lambda, it's natural log of 2, well, we learned it as the half-life is equal to the natural log of 2 over k, so if you rearrange it and switch these two, you get k is equal to natural log of 2 over the half-life. So how is this used? Well, radiocarbon dating, which is using carbon-14, a living sample has a certain amount of carbon-14 in it as an isotope, and since it's a trace amount, it's easy to look at that. So carbon-14 is consistently replenished in a living organism, like a tree or a person, or um, a lot of times we use it for wooden artifacts. And once you cut down that tree, say, to carve some statue, the carbon-14 is no longer replaced and so, or replenished, and it decays. So if it's not replenished and it begins to decay, you can measure how much is left. based, And then you can date it based on how much a typical living tree might have. And the half-life for that is 5,730 years. Alright, so you'll see that pretty often. Alright, uh, uranium-238 is used for much older dating, but it's the same concept. If uranium-238 is in something, the half-life is a long time, and it decays into uranium, or I'm sorry, after the half-life amount of time passes, then you might have lead-206, and then the rest of it would still be uranium-238 because only half of it went away. So you could measure how much lead was in an artifact or rock to see how old it's supposed to be. So let's look at an example. The carbon-14 decay rate of a sample contained from a young tree is this, and it's disintegrations per second per gram of the sample. So young tree, that's living, that would be your A0, your comparison point. Another wood sample prepared from an object recovered at an archaeological excavation gives the decay rate of this many. So it should go down. So whenever this artifact was cut from a tree and carved, the carbon-14 began to decrease, and it's emitting this at the moment. So what is the age of the object? So let's start with natural log of A equals natural log of A0 minus KT. <clears throat> so our initial is 0 0.274. Our final is 0.168 K. We need to use half-life. So T1 half equals the natural log of 2 over K. And this is wood. 
um, I'm sorry, it's carbon 14. So T1 half is equal to 5,730 years. So 5,730 is equal to the natural log of 2 over K. And if you solve for K, you get 0 0.0001. 1,2,0,9,6,8. Carry the numbers on your calculator. A lot of times this is just rounded to point zero 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 one two one, but it could make a difference. Do the calculation in your calculator and keep the number. So now you can plug this in for K and solve for age. So minus zero point zero 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 one two zero nine six eight times t. <clears throat> so since this is where the variable is, I need to subtract this from both sides. So minus the natural log of zero point two seven four. I'll do that. And that's equal to zero point zero 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 one two zero nine six eight t. And I don't have that specific result from a calculation, but then you would divide both sides by this number and you would solve for T which is about 4,000 years, <clears throat> give or take a few. All right. So again, it's just like our first order rate law problems from chapter 14.